All right, so in this lecture, we're gonna refine the lighting and sort of tie everything together a little bit more. So one of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come down here to my values layer and I'm gonna come here to my refined values. I think that's the layer I want. Yeah, we're gonna do our refined values and I'm going to come up here to image adjustments and I'm gonna to go to curves and I'm going to bring the brightness down on my brightest spots a little bit. So that's not quite white anymore. It'll still be bright. It's just not all the way white. Just a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have a little bit brighter of a highlight. So we come up here above textures. We're going to make a new layer. And we're going to, we can name it after we're done with it. So let's go ahead and we've got our texture paintbrush. I'm going to move my color up to white. And what we're going to do is come in here and just work these highlights a little bit in a few spots, really start to bring them brighter than what we have down there already. There we go. All right. So, Coming in here with our eraser. And just painting along, you know, the edge of each of these scales, for example. the center line of this horn. Okay, bringing it down his back here. Same thing up here on his claws, his wings. All right. The other thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of reflected light here. So the, uh, the light bouncing off of the Little tail here is going to come up and be reflecting onto the bottom of the chin and other parts of the dragon. So we're going to go ahead and paint in that reflected light there. Zoom in. I'll make that a little brighter even. Okay, I'm gonna color pick this green here. We're gonna use that for reflected light there. Same down here on some of these wrinkles and folds and stuff.
Okay, I'm just doing a little tiny bit of highlights here. breaking them up so it feels like it kind of has a little bit of scaly skin. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of this uh, reflected light also down underneath the wings here. Okay, another thing that we need to do is uh, get a little bit of these highlights here on top of these leaves. So I'm going to color pick this color here and we're going to come in and let's start with this tree first actually. And we're just going to pick out a couple of these leaves to highlight so that it feels like this tree is actually in the scene. Not all of them, but just a handful. Especially these ones that are down lower, same on this side. Same thing on I would do the same thing on these ones back here. We'll color pick that color. Looks good, we're just getting those ones that are down there in the light. All right, excellent. Just doing one quick pass over everything. So there's anything else we need to do. I'm going to um, go ahead and make a new layer here. And on this layer, we're going to go ahead and move this to color dodge. And for this layer, I'm going to go with this blue color. What we're going to do, we're going to get a nice big airbrush. Okay, and we're going to go over the highlights here and really blow them out. So they almost kind of look like they're glowing. Actually, you know what? Let's move it more green. Let's undo those. Alright. We're going to move it green. Try it with that.
And what this is going to do, it's going to blow out our highlights so it really looks like these are really bright. Gives it that little bit of glow around the edges. Okay, and then we'll get a little bit on the rabbits as well. Or the little animals down here. rock all right and then if we want we can change the color of that whole layer to whatever fits best, whether that's going to be blue, that teal, green, or like a yellow. But I think it looks good how it is. We just need to go ahead and change the opacity down because it's a little strong. So we'll lower the opacity a bit. And there we go. That is gonna be it for this lecture. One last thing, I'm going to, I'm gonna go back to the slayer here. I'm gonna come in here, get my eraser tool. I think we have this uh, a little too strong on the eyes there. I think the eyes look better when they're dark. We'll just get a little bit lighter than what we have, but not much. And we can Paint that in there on the bottom, just a touch. There we go, I think that looks better. And you know, let's also get, uh, let's get these little whiskers here a little bit more defined while we're here as well. All right, there we go. Um, just doing one quick look over this whole thing. I think it looks pretty good. So that'll be it for this lecture, and I'll see you guys in the next one.